Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of number lines, specifically how we can name specific points on these number lines and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic number line on the screen and all that's missing are the two boundary numbers. So typically you're going to see something and it might have maybe 340 and then 350. So what you see here is you've got nine different marks between the 340 and the 350. And so since we've already labeled the tens, these nine different marks each represent one point greater than the one before it. So if I wanted to say uh, this first one right here, I can say this is 341. And I can write 342 and so on all the way up to 350. So sometimes you will get uh, a question and it might have some points labeled here. So these are our unknown points, A, B, C, and D. And our question might be, which of these points is 347? Well, if I start back at 340, I can just label all of them one at a time. And Anytime you get a number line question, I would suggest go ahead and labeling every single point. And if it's too tiny, uh, so you can't write the numbers next to each other, you can do what I do and just write them on the top and the bottom. It doesn't matter which one you do. This gives you a little bit more room. So this is 343. This is 344. You notice this 345 is a little bit bigger. That's because it's the halfway point. So this is halfway between 340 and 350. So here's 346, and then here we go. This is 347. So we could say C, this point C is our 347. If we wanted to go ahead and label point D, we could say 348. And then this is going to be 349, then we get up to 350. Let's look at another example. So in our new example, we have a number line ranged from 100 to 110. So once again, they're 10 apart. And if I wanted to find the spot that is where 104 or 104 would go, let's see if we can find 104. Well, starting at 100, we're just going to count by ones. 101, 102, 103. Here's my 104. So that's where that would go. And then what if I wanted to, to find another spot, 109? Well, there's two different ways I can find this. I could keep counting up by ones, or I can know that 109 is just one less than 110. So I'm going to just put it to the first mark right before 110, because I know that 9 is one less than 10. Now, just to double check, let's go ahead and fill out the rest of our number line. But you don't always have to start from the left side and count plus 1. Sometimes you can count, start from the right, and you can count minus 1 to find the numbers, and that's going to be 108. There's my 109. Let's look at one final example. I have a new number line here. My boundary numbers are 200 and 300, and I need to find point Q. So what do I think that is? Well, this should look a little bit strange. In the first two examples, we counted by ones because the distance or in this case, when, when we're talking about the distance between the two sides, it was always 10 apart. So when, when the distance was 10 apart, we counted by ones. But 200 and 300, that distance or that range is not 10 apart. It's actually 100 apart. So if we were to count by ones, well, it wouldn't really work because by the time we get up to this Q, we, we wouldn't be anywhere near 300. But look, if we count by tens, we can get what we need to. So you don't always count by ones. You count by ones if the two boundary numbers are 10 apart, but now they're 100 apart. So skip counting by tens to 20, to 30, to 40, to 50. I think it's 260, but let's keep counting. 270, 280, and 290. There we go. So our answer is 260.